everybody and welcome to this video and in this video we are going to finally learn how to do the 16 page mini zine out of one sheet of paper now um if you came to my live stream on sunday i did this and i got it all ready and then i was like oh shit my scanner doesn't work I can't, so I can't do this. Like, ah, this was a bad idea. I shouldn't have done it. I should have thought this through. So since then, I have fixed my scanner with my computer and um, done the thing. So this is what your mini zine will, or what mine looks like. And this is what it is. So I got a bunch of um, security envelopes and just tore them um, to the right size and put them in here and then um, printed out some very short poems and thoughts that I have um, and did it in a seven size font so it's very small but it works because it now fits on these pages and um, there we go so what this is looks like beforehand before the cutting and all of that fun noise is this. So this is how this, oh, wait, wait. So this is just a piece of paper, okay? And it's cut like an accordion or like a giant M. M for mat, okay? And the cool thing about the 16 page one is that it gives you 16 interior pages and you also have um, a back cover and a front cover there. Okay. So that is phenomenal. And then it just folds up. And there you go. So this I finally got into the scanner and um, printed it out. Okay. So here we go. This is what it looks like. And this is what this looks like. Now, if your printer when you do this you have to make sure because i i was like fucking this up and i couldn't figure out how i kept like just butchering this and you have to do long edge binding when you do the two-sided print i was doing short edge binding and it was coming out all fucked up and i couldn't figure it out so long edge binding because with my other chap books the normal size ones those are short edge binding so um when you're just doing a single sheet of paper, you gotta do the long edge binding. And so this ended up coming out like this. So here is the copy of it, and here is my original proof. Can you even tell them apart? Probably, because one's really fat because it's full of glue and paper, and the other one's not. So I also went through this and glued the other pages in so we so you can't open it back up again and um, it doesn't have the weird folds and all that other noise. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like. Now, this is a labor of love. I'm not going to lie. Because just doing all of this stuff, I probably could have made like 10 other... Um, chapbooks and zines by the time I was done doing all this stuff. Now, if you remember that other video, I showed you how the pages have to go, like page 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16. Um, so if you want to go back and look at that, you can, or just Google um, how to fold a 16-page mini zine out of one sheet of paper. So now that we have this, we have to make the cuts. So what you're going to want to do and the other thing you should do is when you do your mock-up, do your mock-up so you know what pages are going to go where. And then just take your piece of paper and do all of the things on here and leave it like this. Don't cut it and then try to scan it. Because if you could tell, I have all these weird paper folds. So this is not the best way to do it in the world. And because this was copied off my proof, you could see um, parts of the Sharpie that leaked um, through the page. But when you do this, the easiest way to do it is to start from your cover and you do your cut 
up oh, three pages over and then come up here and go three pages over and then go back to this cover and go three pages over so that's how the cuts are going to look so um normally i would fold this first but i'm going to see if i could do this without folding it at all and then fold it afterwards that might be easier so let's see so we're going to go up this line here and i could kind of see the line and then we're going to go up here and you should always try to do big long cuts so you don't have all of the um nasty you know what i'm talking about you guys pass preschool i don't need to tell you that so now we're back to this where we have a big m for matt okay now we're gonna fold this bitch um and again we just fold it as you would fold anything kind of accordion style here we are and we have our little our little book here page one page two page three page four I don't know if I'm actually counting right page five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, uh, 15, 16. Now, you can leave it like this. You don't have to glue it. I like to glue it because I still want it to turn and flip like a book. So what you would do is you just go in here and go, okay, so these pages need to be glued together. So you glue these together and then you go to this part and glue those together. And you go to this part, glue those together. Go to this part, glue that together. Glue that together. Glue that together. And glue that together. And you're all done. And then this ends up looking like this. So um, that is how you do, um, or that's how I did my... Um, 16 page mini zine out of one sheet of paper i'm gonna have um a limited number of these for sale up on my etsy shop link in the description down below i called this madness because it's just a bunch of quick thoughts and poems that um are either from a madman or will make you mad by reading them i don't know and then we end it with I write poetry so I don't kill people like you. That's pretty fucking, yeah. All right. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, links for everything down below. Join the page so you could get into the Poetic Anarchy, which starts in July, which is tomorrow. But it doesn't start until like halfway through the month. So everything's good and fine and nice and good. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.